Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is April 15th, 2018. The videos we will be viewing just came in yesterday from the Federal Aviation Weather Cams in Alaska. Each frame in these videos is 10 minutes. Our first video shows the latest position of the asteroid we've been tracking for several weeks now. These images are from the southwest facing weather cam at the Richardson Elmendorf military base just outside Anchorage. Unfortunately, you must have a very good computer screen to be able to see the asteroid in each frame because it's very faint and I apologize for that. Just in case anyone is having trouble seeing it, I've placed a red arrow just uh, above it, pointing to it in each frame of the video. Here is the latest path comparison of the asteroid. The red line is March 24th. The yellow line is April 1st. The black line is last week, April 7th. And the white line is from yesterday, April 14th. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that it's getting lower each week. The asteroid is losing elevation, losing altitude. It's coming down. However, if anyone out there is good at physics, perhaps you can tell us why the most recent path, the white line, is more curved than the other three lines. I would be interested to know why. Our next video was captured by the South Facing Weather Cam in Wales, Alaska. We see the red crater pocked planet rotating westward until it is overtaken by chemically induced clouds. The West Facing Weather Cam in Nick, Alaska shows the same red planet rolling along. Next, we see the black dot emitting a black positioning beam in preparation for the eclipse. Colorful airplane-shaped reflections of the concealment jet come into view from the bottom right corner of the screen. However, the actual jet is not visible from this angle. We'll see it in just a moment. I'll point it out. The west-facing weather cam in Anchor Point shows a moon. But we know it's not our moon because of the timestamp of 5.09 p.m. and also the direction the camera is facing. The west-facing weather cam in Chilkat shows the red crater-pocked planet rotating across the sky again. Something very large begins to appear in the top left corner of the screen. Some contrast helps us to see stripes on the very large celestial object. We've seen this striped planet before. The southeast-facing weather cam in Uganic Bay caught an eclipse in progress with a large textured planet. In the last four frames, it is obvious that the large planet is traveling in a westward direction, from our perspective of course, but not as fast as the sun is going. If this were a lens flare, it would either be following the sun's path or it would be stationary because of the stationary camera, but it's neither. The west-facing weather cam in Taslina Tulsona shows the jet that is responsible for making the odd-shaped, colorful reflections that we see in many, many of these screens. The jet is very far away, so it only shows up as a tiny dot. Hopefully these arrows will help you to see it more easily. It is important to note that the path the jet is flying is completely independent of both the sun and the stationary camera, proving it is not a lens flare. The west facing weather cam in Nondalton, Alaska picked up the striped planet in the upper left corner of the screen. Some contrast is added for better viewing. In Nonwalik, the west-facing camera caught a striped planet, but it is nearly transparent from the atmospheric chemicals. Even with contrast added, it's not easy to see, but look closely because it is definitely there. The Nonwalik south-facing camera shows the red planet. 
The southeast facing weather cam in Live and Good also shows the red planet. The south facing weather cam in Seward, Alaska has a really good view of the red planet. This video shows the crater the craters so well that I was able to estimate its rotation. It spins approximately one full rotation about every three hours, which is eight times faster than the Earth rotates and a little over 200 times faster than our Sun rotates. The objects we have just viewed are part of an approaching celestial system. Many people ask when this system will make its closest pass to our Earth. A general indication of time is provided in the following screens of text. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe.